Hello people of the internet, my name is Esther and today I have some exciting news for you guys because this September I'm going to be starting my master's uh, degree studies in Belgium so I'm going to be moving and I want to try to vlog at least a little bit because I'm not too good at journaling I'm okay with taking photos uh, but I'm also not too... I don't know how good okay so I don't know how good I would be with vlogging uh, but if I do everything or try doing a lot of different things maybe somehow I will have enough things to remember this time in my life so the first thing I want to talk about is what happened after you get accepted because I there are a lot of things I didn't think would happen or I was just halfway prepared for these things so maybe I can prepare you guys better First of all, when you open your letter of acceptance, the letter I've got in an email first, uh, I felt equally happy and sad and excited and worried and all of these things just numb me for the moment and I didn't really have a good way of expressing how I felt so I, I was hoping that by telling other people their reactions would get me their sight or just would just move me in some sort of direction and ever since then it's been a swirl of these emotions every single moment there's something that comes into your mind and makes you feel happy and makes you feel sad or it's just actually it's very tiring to have just so many emotions working in you constantly so I feel tired all the time but I hope it will normalize after a time. Uh, obviously the big change is gonna be me actually departing. Next thing that happens is suddenly you have so many things to do. To get health insurance, you have to get every single paper ready, you have to think about where will you live, how much money will you have a month, what will you spend the money on, or you know, just a little bit of budgeting. And it also this is very overwhelming on top of the emotions and it's hard to focus on the everything that's happening so yeah i am if i'm right now also all over the place that's also because of this that organizing is something i find really difficult right now then you will start worrying about packing and i kid you not i have spent nights packing my suitcase in my dreams that's like it's super exhausting because this means you're not even resting when you're sleeping but it's a big pressure because you're going away for a year and i have a big carry-on suitcase a normal suitcase that i will check and a small laptop bag that i can carry with me i have a little bit of an advantage because i have relatives who live there and they are home visiting and i can send some stuff out with them but it's still gonna be a lot of compromises of what will I take and what won't I. So it's kind of a difficult thing. <laughs> you will also have a lot of irrational fears, like suddenly you will be convinced that your plane will crash or that the landlord will disappear or just stupid things like, oh, I used to always use this certain type of, um, I don't know, water and oh, well, what will I use out there? Most of the fears you will have are kind of irrational, but obviously you will have rational ones like how will I make friends or what will happen when the relationships I leave at home. Be sure to know when your fears are rational and when are they rational, like what kind of water will you be drinking? And because of your fears mostly and your curiosity, you will start Googling everything. What type of shops are there? Are they the same they are at home or are there different kinds? And how could you search for them? In Belgium, they speak three languages, French, Dutch and German. The German is the smallest portion, so mainly Dutch and French. And I speak very, very little French, uh, Dutch none at all. So it's always exciting. Oh, Thankfully, most of the websites also exist in English and my limited French knowledge does allow me to understand somewhat the French websites, but it's still going to be also a challenge, not understanding 
the language, everything else is in. And whenever you're experiencing an emotional downhill, like I had just this past weekend, I don't know why I got super emotional about, I, I guess probably just about leaving and everything around it, and every small problem suddenly seemed huge, uh, you will wish that you can just jump ahead in time and just be there at the date of departure and actually be going and not have to focus on all of the problems, all of the uh, issues you have to solve before you can actually depart. Obviously it's not going to be easier out there, There's, I don't have any illusions about it, but it's so bad that whenever something good happens to you in the months leading up to your departure, you will always feel a bit of sadness because you're leaving either the people or the places and it's it, it will be just harder so you will think that maybe jumping ahead would be the best thing but then you would be missing out on the experiences so i hope the, so the best way i can describe how i feel is that i'm completely mixed in everything and i'm totally overwhelmed so if I'm weird or anything else like that, then it's just because of that. So these were the main things I wanted to talk about. Also, I'm very, I've been very bad with uploading these past couple of months, mostly because of study and life-related things. So thinking back <laughs> on the beginning of 2016, probably this year was not the best pick to start my YouTube career or whatever. But the on the other hand, if I've never done it, then maybe I would never have done it. Who knows? So this is as good as a time as any other. But I will try my best to put more videos out. I don't plan on making a separate vlog channel because I have no illusions in that it will be also very difficult. Also, I started a blog with my friends. If you're Hungarian, please go and check it out. Uh, I will leave some links on the video and in the down bar. Uh, yeah, so I will put the vlogs on this channel. This channel is mostly a creative outlet for me uh, because I really enjoy video editing. And now it's gonna be kind of like a diary, a public diary. And maybe if you're moving a bro or you're thinking about it, maybe it will be helpful for you too to see my struggles or my advice so I do have a lot of travel videos planned in my mind I'm actually working on an actual planner right now to be more up to date with my YouTube things uh, so yeah I hope that you enjoy this video and if you did so please give it a thumbs up and if you're interested in what I might upload next please subscribe and I will see you guys next time bye bye